boys and girls, I'm Dr. Cheese. Today we're going to be answering the question, why did Jesus come and die for our sins? And to answer that question, we're going to make cookies. Golly, I wish all my classes worked this way. This is Wes. Wes is my mother's brother's ex-wife's adopted sister's daughter's stepfather's nephew. Hi, everybody. So, people all the time be asking me, Dr. Cheese, why did Jesus have to die for our sins? Why can't God just ignore our sins? Are they such a big deal? I mean, no one's perfect, right? No one? Not even VeggieTales spokesman Bob the Tomato? Nope, not even Mr. Tomato. The only person to ever walk the earth and be perfect was Jesus Christ himself! Wow. To demonstrate why sin is bad, we're going to present a picture. Imagine if you will, God is a great chef, perfect in all his recipes. When God makes cookies, they are perfect, and for him to eat a cookie, it must be perfect, or he must spit it out. Blech! So awful would it be to him. Perfect cookie chef. The Old Testament law is like God's perfect cookie recipe. It tells us what to put in and what not to put in to make the perfect life, or cookie. My life is a cookie? Yep, that's how this works. My name is Wes Eisenhawk, and my life is a cookie. So, here's the recipe. Okay, standard, uh, flour, sugar, chocolate chips, mm. eggs, milk. Oh, it says fresh milk and grade A eggs. Right, bad ingredients don't make good cookies, so only the best will do. Well, let's see. I have milk, looks fresh. Um, it's a jar of dead spiders. What? Um, it's a jar of dead spiders. Why do you have a jar of dead spiders? Oh, because <laughs> live spiders kind of freak me out. Oh, you're afraid of spiders too, huh? Yeah, so go ahead, put in some dead spiders. In my cookies? Yeah. No way. I don't want dead spiders in my cookies. That's terrible. Why not? All the cool kids are doing it. Are they? Yeah. Everyone puts dead spiders in their cookies. And why shouldn't you? Well, I'm making these cookies for the greatest cookie chef in the universe. They aren't for me. But you're making it. Why shouldn't you make them the way you want to? Well, the recipe says not to put in dead spiders. Really? Yeah, right here, under grade A eggs. It says, do not put in any dead spiders. It's even underlined. But God loves you, right? And if someone loves you, won't they want to eat dead spiders? No. No one wants to eat dead spiders. My mom loves me, but if I gave her dead spider cookies, she'd never eat them. She's not even a perfect cookie chef. Go ahead. No one's looking. It'll be fun. Well, okay, but just a little. Dude, you just put dead spiders in your cookies. You told me to. Yeah, but just because somebody says to do something doesn't mean it's a good idea. My cookies? These cookies were my life. I ruined my life. Hmm, maybe you should put in more. What? Try it. That didn't fix it. Now there's even more dead spiders in my cookies. Hmm, yeah. Maybe you need to have me do it for you. Yeah? Here, how's that? Uh, now there's lots of dead spiders in my cookies. Hmm, apparently when two people do the wrong thing, it's still the wrong thing. I know! What does the recipe say is supposed to be in those cookies? Chocolate chips. So all you have to do is add lots of chocolate chips. 
Adding goodness will remove the nasty? Try it! Uh, well? No. There's still lots of dead spiders in there. It's starting to really creep me out. Well? Add more chocolate chips. Lots more! Yeah? Yeah. Doesn't it make sense that goodness cancels out badness? Uh, I, I guess so. Okay, I've added lots of chocolate chips, and there's still spiders in there. He's never going to eat these. Well, gosh, what do you suppose needs to be done? I need to start over. I need a new bowl. And how do you get a new bowl? Uh, I humble myself and ask nicely. That's right! Dr. Cheese, can I please have a new bowl? My cookies are ruined, but I need to start over. Here you go, Wes. It's not only a new bowl, but I put some perfect cookie dough in it for you. So sprinkle in some extra chocolate chips and you can be done and have perfect cookies. Wow, how can I ever repay you? Uh, you can't. But just try not put any more spiders in your cookies. Like, ever. In fact, throw that jar away. Oh, good idea. Okay, kids, that's how it works. Jesus gives you a new life as a free gift, because even a little sin is really gross. So do your best not to add more grossness to your clean new life. Only add goodness. What if I forget and add more grossness? Jesus will take care of it. He never refuses to help. So, Jesus died on the cross so we can have a new life and start over? Now you've got it. A new life is harder to get than a mixing bowl, and it cost him a death on the cross. But God loves us all so much that he sent his only son, Jesus, that whoever believes in him can have eternal life forever in heaven. Wow. I bet the cookies in heaven are perfect. I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, kids. Ask Jesus for a new life. And if you have a jar of dead spiders, throw it away. Ew! Uh, we're going to bake these cookies and eat them. You kids, listen to your parents, be good, and always do the right thing. Love and muffins, everybody.